Hey there guys, welcome to another one of my Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battles. Today, I have a brilliant NU battle against the one and only Connor, also known as Turtwig TV. If you are not subscribed to his channel, do so. He is doing an awesome Emerald uh, Randomizer Nuzlocke at the moment, or he was. Um, I'm not sure if it's finished yet, but yeah, he's basically got a really awesome Emerald uh, Nuzlocke series going on, and he's also a babe on Twitter, so make sure you follow him for all his latest videos and subscribe to his channel of course. So today I'm going to quickly run over my new team. Before we get into this battle you can see his team. Um, lots of things I know are threats because I've used them all before. Uh, I have a physically defensive Seismitoad, especially defensive Cryogonal, Assault Vest, Executor, Choice Scarfed Magmortar, Life Orb, Sheer Force, Tauros, and then my secret weapon, my Choice Banded Dusk Noir. So, Hopefully you guys will enjoy this battle because it, he messaged me in the morning and I've been waiting all day to have this battle and it really did live up to it, the hype and expectation which we put around it because I think he's wanted to battle me for a while so it was definitely worth the wait because it was such an enjoyable battle. But anyway, turn one I start off with Seismic Toad because I want to get my rocks up. He goes straight on for the close combat and I know this thing is scarfed based on damage because that much damage done a critical hit. So I don't think I could have lived another one. Actually, I definitely couldn't live another close combat. Um, but I get my rocks up, which is nice because he has got his Thero roaming around. So the sooner that thing dies, the better. Um, obviously, it'll help with my Pokemon, such as Magmortar, which is Timid Scarf, to hit a bit harder because it'll lose health. Or his opponent's po my, uh, my opponent's Pokemon will lose health on switching. So I bring in my Dust Noir now, thinking the switch is quite obvious, but also a pretty safe switch. Um, here I go for the Thunder Punch, expecting the Wall Rain. I don't know if he predicted this, because if he did, he's absolutely magical. Because I hadn't even revealed I had Thunder Punch on this thing yet. But I go for the Thunder Punch, expecting the Wall Rain to come in to take the something. I don't know, maybe an Earthquake. Uh, oh yeah, I was thinking he wouldn't bring in Camera Up just in case I go for Earthquake. So I actually have to switch here, because as I said, I'm a Choice Banded Dusk Noir. So... I bring in Frank, my seismic toad here, A to die, B to maybe hit him with a school slash earthquake, I don't know. But here he pulls the double into Raticate, which is really cool, because that's a free turn of Toxic Orb. I really wish he hadn't done that, because I could have knocked off his Toxic Orb before he got the Toxic off to activate his guts. Um, I'm unsure as to why he has Toxic Orb, though, maybe because I think um, Flame Orb is better for Raticate, but never mind, the facade is going to take me down. Guts Raticate with Facade is so powerful, guys. Seriously, you need to try it out if you haven't already because it's so good. And it also gets Sucker Punch, which is a nice priority move, and Quick Attack. So, lots of nice things going for Raticate in this tier. Um, anyway, but I am choice. He obviously didn't expect that. The way I bought it in, I thought it was quite obvious. Figured I could probably live a Sucker Punch because it's not Stab. Um, but I just gave the Focus Blast and hit because I am the Dolphin Attic. I do not miss Focus Blast. That's my that's an unwritten lore about me, basically. Here brings in War Rain, which... Um, Kind of confused me because Focus Blast is super effective. And um, yeah, I'm, I don't want to stay in there because this thing, I don't know what this thing wants to do. It'll probably, on, on, well, it went on core because I'm scarfed. It'll probably go for Surf or something. It goes for the Yawn. If I'd have stayed in, that would have been perfect because I do have Vital Spirit on my uh, Swag Mortar, my Mag Mortar. So that would have worked out perfectly. And this War Rain would have gone down a lot quicker than it does. But I bring in my Dust Noir now and it goes to the Substitute, which is annoying. But as I've revealed, I do have the Thunder Punch um, I can go for to break the sub. Um, he does Surf here to get a little bit of damage off of my um, Dust Noir. But my only defensive sort of investment is max HP. So uh, I can think I took that quite well. I didn't really figure out what this Wall Rain set was all about. I find out later it does have a Rocky Helmet. But Substitute, Yawn and Surf. I have not seen them be run on a wall rain before other than substitute so I got really confused by that. Anyway I kind of figured he might swap into camera up here but I'm going to stay in just in case he doesn't and over predicts for me to switch and stays in um, but he does make the safe play and bring in his camera up but that now does mean I have to sack something basically so I'm going to go into my Hylian, my Cryogonal and he's going to fire blast and even Though it's super effective, it only just does about about over half, so I, I didn't really take it well. The camera up is a beast, so I kind of expected it to do a lot of damage. I'm also immune to his um, ground type stab moves though, which is nice. I could have created a bit of a stall wall here and gone for recovers until he ran out of fire blasts, but the chances are he was probably going to get a crit before I'd stalled him out of fire blasts. So 
Um, I just go for the Reflect here just to make setting up and with my Pokemon a bit easier. Um, my Hylian Shield, Cryogonal, does die, I'm afraid, but it's not the greatest loss to my team um, because now I get a free switch and I can bring in something that can really scare this camera up. So I bring in Exodius and I was so close to going for the Thunder Punch at this stage of the battle, knowing Fero wanted to come in, but I didn't want to risk it because this camera up is scary. So I just go for the uh, safe Earthquake, well, not safe, I go for the Earthquake. Just trying to kill that camera up, but he does pull the switch into Fero, and I was so close, so so close to pressing Thunder Punch. This is why I, oh, they need to introduce a undo button before your opponent has actually clicked their their move for the battle. But ah, oh, it doesn't really matter. Go for the earthquake. I predict him to swap out. I actually predict him to U-turn, but he doesn't. He actually just straight up switches, and I stay in and go for the earthquake, which I thought was quite a pro move. This is where things started going my way this battle. He brings in Sceptile, I bring in Poached, which is a pretty safe counter against this thing. Um, although this Giga Train does quite a lot considering I'm Assault Vest. But I have got no special defense investment, only max HP investment, and this Sceptile is Life Orb, so that kind of really didn't recover much. Um, here he stays and goes to the Dragon Pulse, which, because it's not Stab, it is neutral, um, unlike the Resistor Giga Drain, it does do a little bit more. I can just go for a Sludge Bomb and kill this thing off with ease. And uh, that Sceptile is gone because that was a massive threat. Because all my, or both my walls are gone. The Sceptile could have done some serious damage to the rest of my team. Um, but now he's going to bring in Fero. And at this, at this stage, I want to try and keep Executor around. Um, so I'm going to switch out and I'm going to bring in my Primate. No, not Primate. But I don't have a Primate. But that's the one. I bring in my Dust Noir. Because even without any bulk investment, I can. Well, he's got very high defenses, so I can take, or well, I think I can take a hit quite well anyway. So he gets the drill peg and it doesn't kill me. I'm at this stage where I know if it's the same damage roll, I live. I live with 2 HP and I hit with the payback. I did not want to go for the fun punch just in case he swapped into camera up. But he obviously thought he could kill me from that range and the payback kills that fear row. Choice banded payback. Base 100 power after getting hit. So good. Now I know because he hasn't got any um, rocks or spikes up, I can keep Dusk Noir around with Shadow Sneak. I've, I had a feeling I might need Shadow Sneak at this, some point in this battle. So I decide to sacrifice my, whatever it's called, execute, no not execute, executor, that's the one, poached. Uh, and I'm just pretty sure he's going to go for the U-turn, um, so I bring it in and I die. If he'd have gone for something like Stone Edge or um, Close Combat, that would have been a bonus, but never mind. He brings in Wall Rain here, and after Rocks, I can pretty much bring anything in just to kill this thing off, because it's at such a low amount of HP now. I'm going to bring in Ole, my Tauros. And I'm going to go for the substitute here, just in case he wanted to give something like a Toxic or a substitute of his own. Uh, but he does go for the Surf, which is annoying. I wasted a bit of HP, but in the, in hindsight, it didn't really matter too much. Um, but I'm going to go for the Rock Climb, and luckily I don't miss, because Rock Climb does have a small uh, amount of, or a small chance of missing. This is where I find out he has Rocky Helmet, because that's actually the first bit of damage I've managed to inflict this wall rain. All the rest was from Rocks and Substitutes. Um, but now in comes Primate, and he has to lock himself into Stone Edge here because U-Turn will not be killing my Pokemon. He can't close combat because he can't touch Dust Noir. Oh no, he does U-Turn here, sorry. He only has this and something else left. I can't remember what, I was getting ahead of myself. Um, he brings in his camera up, and I go for the Zen Headbutt. And with the Sheer Force and Life Orb boost, and some unfortunate hacks going my way, I'm afraid. The critical hit Zen Headbutt is able to take out the camera up. Tor Taurus is sheer power, it's not even a stab move and it took it out, so. Taurus, you are amazing. But in comes Primate, this is where he has to lock himself in Stone Edge, because otherwise he can't really touch Dust Noir with a fighting type move. He does miss the Stone Edge, and at this point I was like, oh no, please do not end the battle, but I miss Zen Headbutt anyway. So that was kind of funny. He hits this second Stone Edge and does kill me. So now I have my Choice Scarf Magmortar, which I'm not sure if he's a choice scarf primate, he might be able to outspeed me. Um, and I have my Dust Noir left, so I'm going to go for the Shadow Sneak. I'm um, trying to get some damage off, so I know I can go for something like a Thunderbolt and probably take it out with my Magmortar instead of risking missing the Fire Blast. But my opponent misses the Stone Edge again, he misses two out of the three, and I felt so bad at this point. I would have thrown crap everywhere in anger, but. You know what, he, he kept his head, and that was such a fun battle, I really enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys want to try out Banded and Dusk Noir now, because that thing is a beast. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, uh, I'm sure Turtwig did. Uh, I'll leave a link to his channel in the description below, please check him out, because he's nearly 150 subs, and he definitely deserves it. 
Um, other than that, guys, make sure you leave a like for my video and subscribe to me if you're not already. Uh, and I'll see you guys around. Goodbye.